The Ogopogo is one of the Okanagan's most famous folklore, and it is believed to be a serpent-like creature that resides in Okanagan Lake. But this creature comes from a much more deep-rooted belief from the Selic people of the Okanagan. Okanagan Lake is a long, narrow-shaped lake which stretches 135 kilometers north to south from Vernon to Penticton. It is 4 to 5 kilometers wide and 232 meters at its deepest point. This lake is nestled in the beautiful Okanagan Valley in British Columbia. The Okanagan Valley was formed by thousands of years of glacial activity, and approximately 14,000 years ago, the last glacier to retreat melted and caused a large, deep lake to form known as the Glacial Lake of Penticton, a.k.a. Okanagan Lake. It is believed that a lake monster resides under a small island on the east side of Okanagan Lake across from Peachland. Nhahet is translated from the Silk language in Silkjin to the sacred spirit of the lake. This spirit can refer to all creatures of the lake or the lake itself. It is also said that Nhahet is not confined to the water, but reaches out to all aspects of the land, as it is also a metaphor for sustainability. There are numerous protocols related to Nhahet, and many focus on the area where it is thought the spirit resides, near Squally Point, under Rattlesnake Island. These protocols centered on the respect for the lake and its spirit. But if not maintained, the waters would become angry, and Nhahait would appear, and possibly cause harm, to remind us all the responsibility to acknowledge and respect the spirit of the lake. The Seelk people would pay respect with small food offerings during ceremonies and gatherings, as well as offering medicines like tobacco and sage. It is a common misperception that the Seelk people would sacrifice small animals such as pigs or chickens, in honor of Nhahaetk. This is not true. With this misperception of Nhahaetk, the settlers would tell stories of a serpent in Okanagan Lake that needed a live animal sacrifice to appease it and ensure safe passage across the water. The first reported encounter of Nhahaetk was in 1855 when Métis settler John McDougall was crossing the lake with his horses tied behind his canoe. The horses were pulled under the water, and he had to cut the ropes to stop the canoe from sinking. Another reported incident is in 1872, when Susan Allison was certain she saw a dinosaur in the lake. New settlers feared this mysterious lake creature so much, they began patrolling the beaches, muskets at the ready to protect their families. Some businesses who offered a ferry service reassured their passengers that their vessels were fully prepared with appropriate devices to repel any ferocious lake monsters. After the British music hall hit called the Ogopogo, the Funny Foxtrot was written, tourism officials named the creature Ogopogo, and it was transformed into a cartoon-like creature that would lure tourists. It was so well known, the city of Kelowna had a local artist construct a statue of the Ogopogo in the early 1950s, and it was installed in Cary Park on the downtown's waterfront. Ogopogo mania really peaked in the 1980s when the Okanagan Similkameen Tourist Association struck a deal with a Vancouver insurance company and offered a $1 million reward for physical proof of the creature's existence. Nets, harpoons, and dynamite were not permitted in capturing this legendary creature, as it could harm the freshwater ecosystem, so only rod and line could be used. If caught, the Ogopogo would have to be examined by the Department of Zoology at the University of British Columbia before the reward could be claimed. Only physical proof would get you that million dollar reward. Photographs wouldn't cut it. After gallant efforts, it was decided by Greenpeace, an independent environmental organization, to make the Ogopogo an endangered species, and demanding it only be captured on film and not in flesh.
even though the lake had been searched before. In 1991, Nippon Television, a Japanese company, financed high-tech devices to look for the creature. They poured tens of thousand dollars into the local economy, employing divers, chartering sonar-equipped boats, and helicopters. This also included a miniature, remotely operated submarine that went to the bottom of Okanagan Lake. Following Nippon Television, National Geographic also participated in an expedition to look for the Yogopogo in 2005, as well as several other television companies. But this creature still remains a mystery, as all findings are inconclusive. Descriptions of the Ogopogo vary, but all of them have a few similarities, such as having an eel or snake-like body, dark green or shiny black in color, bulging eyes, up to 25 feet long, and can have the head of an animal, such as a horse, goat, or reptile. The Ogopogo is also thought to be a large fish, such as a sturgeon, because they can grow up to 16 feet and weigh up to 800 pounds. Others think it to be an extinct species of dinosaur, such as a plesiosaurus, or an underwater current that makes an unusual wave at the surface. Myth or legend, creature or spirit, wave or sturgeon, the Ogopogo will remain in the Okanagan's folklore and be the mascot for Okanagan Lake. But the real question is, what do you believe?